Now that we have set up our accounts with uh, SSH keys connecting to um, GitHub and our computers and everything is set up and authenticated and we can push and pull to GitHub um, with SSH keys, um, we need to create a repository, a private repository in our account and use that as a root of our work uh, for this semester. So what we need to do is we, we need to go to our uh, GitHub account. And uh, go to repositories. And specifically for uh, OOP244 that we have set this thing up, um, what we are going to do, we're going to create a directory that I would suggest you call it OOP244 works. So these are all the things you are going to do in your OOP244 uh, semester. You can use this for any subject that you have in Seneca. It uh, can be used for anything that you do, for collaborations, um, uh, asking help uh, from your professor. Uh, that is, and that is specifically what I want you to do in my classes. If you're my student, um, I, I, uh, the only way that I uh, would like to see you request for help is to add me as a collaborator to this repository and let us work together. So uh, make this a repository private. Make sure you add a readme files because I'm going to ask you to f add few information over there so I know who you are and uh, uh, who the repository belongs to. Um, also, add a git ignore file that is specifically for C++. We're going to change this uh, and add uh, and, and kind of overwrite it with the git ignore that I have from my repository. So you can just overwrite it with that later on, which I we're going to uh, go through it. After this setting, you will um, create the repository. So click on create repository and repository will get created with all these information edit you can just edit the op244 works right over here in uh, in the, re the readme file right in here in your uh, repository uh, and you can and uh, please add uh, the following information so uh, so this is op244 works repository add a dash and a space that creates bullet forms in the um, readme file so add your name over here so it's going to be this is just a sample so put your uh, real Seneca name over there and student number don't worry about privacy because this is a private repository nobody will see this so add your student number over here and uh, let's put uh, anyway so that's it and the next thing I need you to do to add your Seneca email ID over here so it's gonna be email ID and that is in this case F Solima, or you can add the whole email. So you can say actually at myseneca.ca. So, so, so I can easily copy if I want to. And the last thing, what is your section? It's in OP244. If you are making this for other classes uh, or other things that you're doing at Seneca, um, uh, mm, these are not required. This is just for my classes. And in here, I'm going to call it OP244 and uh, XX, whatever the uh, section is so whatever it is you can put it over there and then if you uh, click on save over here and commit changes actually it's going to save it and this is what you are going to see over there in your op244 works so now the repository is created and uh, we need to clone this on our local computer and also you can clone it on matrix if you want to uh, we're going to go through it and you'll see how it's going to work so first we're going to clone it on our local computer so we click on the name of the repository then we're going to click on code and make sure select SSH because we're going to uh, connect to it using the SSH repository uh, so using the SSH authentication click over here on this uh, tag at right and that's going to copy it into clipboard then open up the uh, directory that you have it's going to be op244 over here and this is the notes that I cloned over here and now one thing you need to remember that you cannot 
uh, clone a repository inside another repository nested repositories are not allowed so it has to be side by side so I'm gonna right click over here on empty area and I'm gonna click on git clone now if you uh, if you click and this is what you see which is there is no git clone it means you are within some kind of a source control or another repository if that's the case and I've seen some uh, students had to have that have that problem if that's the case go to root of C and in root of C create a separate directory called OOP244 and create your repository over here clone it over here and to have access in your documents you can simply go to the root of C and drag that one and drop it into documents with right mouse button and let go and you can say create shortcuts here and when you click that in that documents you're gonna have a shortcut to OB244 that is in root of C so if cloning didn't work in your in the my documents or wherever you are create it in root of C and create a shortcut so later on you just click over here and it takes you to the dir directory that is in root of C we don't have that problem over here so I am NOT going to uh, do that so uh, let's go here I'm gonna remove that delete we don't need it now I'm gonna go to the OOP244 directory in here and I have the um, uh, a sandbox which is such a, essentially where I'm doing my tests uh, well which I, uh, I, I do not need this I'm gonna remove this one too. delete okay so now I'm gonna right click over here and I'm gonna click on git clone remember that we clicked over here and it got copied into the clipboard when you go back over here right click in the area and you click on git clone automatically it will paste the SSH path in here and because last time you set it up to load the key from the uh, from the place that you saved it it will authenticate with github and bring the OP244 works over here now the git ignore in here when you look at git ignore you see it doesn't have the visual studio stuff that we have in our git ignore in uh, repositories that I provide you what git ignore does is that when you are pushing or pulling from repositories it will ignore the files that you state in that one especially when you are writing programs in your OP244 works for your school stuff there are lots of executables temporary files that your compiler is going to create you don't need those things to be sent to github you only need your source codes and because of that we add the git ignore to the root of the repository and automatically git will ignore whatever that is in there uh, whatever that is not needed so go to the uh, directory of the notes that you uh, cloned or workshops or any uh, repository that you get for your course information go over go over there copy the git ignore over there and then go back in the works repository right click and click paste and replace it as you see now it's red because it's red it means it is changed so if I right click on that one and go to go to tortoise git and click on diff it's gonna actually show me what is the difference between the two and as you see this is the uh, uh, the git ignore that github provided and these are the values that I added to it to make sure that uh, temporary files and uh, different types of uh, temp uh, temporary files from Visual Studio will not get uploaded to Git by mistake. And this diff feature is actually a very good thing, especially when I help you with your code and you see uh, and, and I make changes to your code to, to point out what is the correct way of doing this. After you, I uh, change your repository and you pull the repository, you can always do this to see what changes have been made which I will demonstrate later on so now now that this is done I simply right click on it or you can just go to the root and right click on the whole repository and click on commit it's gonna tell you exactly what is being changed and is being committed so in here I'm gonna say updating git ignore and I'm gonna click on commit this commit means this action of changed was saved as a turning point to the local computer so commits means saving 
into your local repository now we need to push these things up to github and because you have your ssh key you simply click on push and OK and it's going to be sent to GitHub now if I actually go to GitHub and take a look at the code and I refresh over here you will see that it's going to say updating git ignore that's what had happened over here and if you click you will see all the values are right over there added so that's how you clone it the next thing you need to do now that we know that everything is correct and your git ignore is fixed and your workshop and your uh, uh, readme is set and updated with everything the next step that you can uh, that you should do over here is add me your professor as a collaborator to this repository so if you need any help your professor can actually provide it to you because they are collaborators on the same repository they can pull the repository and see what you have done over there how do we do that we go to the repository that is op244works you click on settings over here you scroll down and you see it says collaborators over here then uh, it's going to ask for password because um, just a second oh I have my password saved good so it asks for password now it's going to say who you want to add as collaborator I'm going to say add people type over here farlad and most likely the first one that is come in coming up is me and you can see my picture over here click on that and say add farlad to this repository as soon as you do this an email will be sent to me as a git invitation um, so let me just open my uh, mail uh, email application and show it to you so now if you look at here you will see that it says Fred Soleil send an invi invitation <coughs> and I'm gonna click uh, on that one and we will see over here that invitation is sent I'm gonna click on view invitation and this is happening on your professor's uh, computer so and that's what's gonna happen it says Fred Soleil invited you for to, to collaborate I'm gonna click on accept invitation as your professor and now I have access to your repository any code you put over here that you need help with I can see it help help you and uh, uh, point out to you to, to a correct direction so you can actually see what changes has to be made and uh, it makes um, our work much more efficient and professional and knowledge of uh, github although it's not in the uh, uh, um, outline of our curriculum but it's one of the most important tools you need to learn to be a successful and professional programmer in your career so uh, follow these uh, uh, guidelines and that will this will actually uh, end your workshop zero as soon as I get this invitation I'm gonna um, uh, get the invitation and I will uh, make sure that uh, um, uh, that I can help you with all the work that you have one important thing at the end that I have to mention to you is that anything you do on your computer regarding OP244 you should do it in this directory so say you want to do a workshop or you want to work on one of the codes that I have written you do not change anything in the repositories that you download from github from my or uh, subjects out subject notes you uh, get you don't edit it in this repository if you want to change or work on anything you simply go to that directory pick up what you have so let me see what do we have oh this uh, uh, this is not updated so this is a good opportunity uh, we don't have anything in here so because I don't have it I'm gonna right click over here I'm gonna say tortoise git and I'm gonna click on pull this is gonna bring in all the new information from the notes now added so I didn't need to do any download I just said pull all the changes now if you look everything is in here so let's say I want to test and see how uh, um, this thing is working so I'm gonna say bucket.cpp bucket.h um, and prg.cpp these are the things that I want uh, or, or you can just uh, copy the whole uh, uh, 
project over here copy the whole project and come back over here or you can copy the whole notes if you want to it doesn't make any difference so I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna come back to uh, works and in here I can create a directory and I'll call the directory sandbox sandbox is uh, uh, programmers um, uh, program uh, uh, professional programmers way of uh, naming a directory in which they want to do dirty stuff they want to uh, uh, try stuff that they it's not important they just want to check it out that's what we call a sandbox so that's uh, I whenever I want to do something that that I know that I'm gonna delete later on it's not it's it's just for testing I'm gonna call it sandbox so I'm gonna add a sandbox to op244 and then I'm gonna paste that <coughs> directory in here now I can actually double click on the VCX proj and I can open up the Visual Studio and work with it and see how it's done and how the work is uh, uh, how the lecture had uh, had gone or uh, study or do whatever I want to do and if you want to develop your workshops then create a directory called workshops in your op244 works and do your work over there and as soon as <coughs> um, uh, a, a moment passes and and you want to leave the code and go make sure you commit and you do this action of committing over and over and over and uh, that causes lots of creates lots of points of turning back so later on you can turn back and see what happened at those moments so now if I come over here and I look at for example this prg.cpp that I have over here and um, I'll do whatever so in here I'm gonna say see out uh, whatever and compile and run it make sure everything's good so it runs and works and everything's good now let's say I want to discuss some matter over here with my professor and ask questions so what I will do over here is this I am going to close this and close this one close the Visual Studio entirely and then come back in here uh, and go back to the sandbox right click over here and go tortoise git add because this is a new thing and it's not being tracked by our repository I will add it to the repository so I'm gonna call add and it as you see it only selects the that uh, the uh, the the uh, the the the, the data files and the programming files and it will not copy any executables or anything only what is needed so I click on OK it's gonna be added then I will commit it and I'm gonna label it over here asking uh, asking uh, help for whatever and then I'm gonna click on commit this commit creates um, a turning point into my application and now I'm gonna push it up to github and it's gonna go all up to github and everything is set and now we have it now now that we have it on github um, I can actually ask my professor to go with to to go over uh, my my repository and see uh, uh, for example uh, what I need help for so they're gonna help me not only that let's say this is a workshop and you want to submit it you're done with your workshop now you want to submit it to your professor on matrix you don't need to do uh, uh, FTP anymore all you need to do is to go to matrix log into your matrix account and go to some directory that you want to have that one so I'm gonna go to OOP244 directory in here now I'm gonna come to my repository click on OOP244 works click on code copy the URL uh, the HTTPS path for it I'm gonna go to matrix and in here I'm gonna say git clone and then I simply put the path of the repository and I hit enter so it's gonna ask for my passphrase I'm gonna enter the passphrase and done I have everything in here see the OOP 244 works and as you see I have the sandbox and 
zero two and all the files are here I can l easily do the uh, submission right from here to matrix to whatever I want to do and let's say the submission that we have it has a mistake and you have to fix it you don't need to do any back and forth type of uh, FTP again all you need to do is to come back to the source code that you have let's say you go to this <coughs> you go to this program and you change something and I'm not gonna open Visual Studio I'm just gonna ch do make a change so I'm gonna say over here Fardad was here and I'm gonna save it so because this file is saved as you see it's tagged over here so I can literally commit over here and I say commit and I say over here fixed the problem ready for next submission attempt okay and I'm gonna commit it and I'm gonna push it so now from my local computer I made the changes and sent it to github I want to get it I'll come back to matrix all I need to do is to issue a pull command now take a look if I do cat prg.cpp this is prg.cpp now I'm gonna say git pull and I hit enter enter the passphrase and now take a look at prg.cpp Fardad was here so I do not need to use FTP anymore everything is gonna get updated just like this so this is how we collaborate and we're going to use workshop zero throughout our semester make sure all your work is always in oop244 works repository and you keep committing and pushing to github for reference thank you very much this is the end of workshop zero and uh, uh, um, i'll see you soon in class